Paco Singing clandestino Pay your dues to Manu Chow Desaparacito The Casa Paco We are desperados We bring our music to the squares Our musical cortados Volando Venga So here we are one of my favourite spots overlooking Whitby. Let's just have a look at this glorious view. The story of Casa Paco really um, has to involve our previous drummer, my great friend Marsh Dixon, who um, went out there to, to live. And um, I went out to visit him last April. And while we were out there, we played a couple of gigs in Casa Paco, which is one of the uh, cafes in the square there. Um, there's Casa Paco, there's La Taparia, and there's Pericos. It's a beautiful town square set up in the mountains. We had a, a wonderful time, we had a great audience. Um, there's a good bar area where quite a few people came in. Uh, Casa Paco really is a restaurant. Um, I remember some of the new songs, uh, St Philomena and Friends with the Wolfman particularly went down well on that, that evening. Uh, we had a lot of fun and uh, I met uh, Paco who owns the place and uh, I promised that if, we, if I went out again I would write a song called Casa Paco. We went out to uh, Competa for the second time in October last year and uh, we played a couple of gigs. We played a, a festival in the, in the uh, neighbouring town. Um, song really is um, it has a few Spanish lines in it and usually when I'm singing in Whitby um, I don't expect the audience to pick up on um, songs that they don't understand because the lyrics in our songs do tend to we do tend to think they're important to us we don't um, write kind of standard love song type stuff and with this song being about something that people don't really maybe understand and also some of the lines not being in English I didn't expect it to fly in uh, when we got back here but it's proved very popular it's got a bit of uh, energy about it well we laid the we laid the basic track down um, as a live track with uh, Steve Cooper on drums uh, Pete Brown on bass and myself on guitar and singing um, and we did it in one take and it came out really well first time and so we just stuck with that and um, I've mentioned Marshall who was our the original drummer in the band well on this uh, on the album it's um, Steve Cooper playing and uh, I think he particularly deserves a mention on, on this track especially for me anyway because um, I think um, when you're not involved in music it's easy to, easy to take a drummer for granted but um, if you actually listen carefully to what Steve's playing, he plays some uh, really amazing, complicated sort of cross rhythms. On. This is a track that uh, our guitarist Kingsley takes a bit of a back seat on. He does play on it, um, but uh, the solo is taken up by uh, Lenny Wilson, who normally plays sax for us, but on this occasion she's got a dusty old box with a uh, she opens up as she does with all her instruments they're all in uh, old cases and they've all got a bit of a story behind them uh, they're all a bit bashed about and how she gets the, sa the sound that she does out of them is amazing to me but uh, on this occasion she plays violin and um, we've mixed that in Phil does play a tiny bit of keyboards towards the end uh, uh, and uh, it just kind of bounces along it's got references in it to um, Manu Chow, who's perhaps not so well known in the UK, but he's massive on the continent. And it, and it particularly references his album Clandestino, and particularly the two tracks, Clandestino and Desaparecido. So I think it's a strong song, it's got a bit of bounce about it, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And that's why I'm singing about um, a restaurant in southern Spain, 
when I'm up here in uh, northeast of England. I'm sure you can easily tell that we were just happy to be there. We didn't need to do much, just feeling the sun on our skin. It was just warm to the touch. We were just happy to be there. We could really say why. Just watching the waves peter out on the sand. Watching the gulls in the sky.